Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? Top Gang, I'm one, two, three. Once again, with another video for you guys. And today, I am showing you an actual exploit for Hearts of Iron 4. Not like the other day when I did a video on spiffing the Brits uh, tank division video. This is a actual exploit. This is something that should not be in the game. It is incredibly overpowered and allows you, if you play as the US and do this perfectly, you can actually get 1944 era planes, tanks, equipment, all that in 1938. Like for example on the screen as you can see or maybe not, I don't know, I'm doing this video out of sync due to the fact that when I first got this recording going, I didn't actually have it going correctly. Uh, and then I record my voice. When doing this the first time, I was able to get 1944 era battleships in 1938. After this, I immediately went to planes, I had 1944 P-51 Mustangs in 39, and actually got nuclear weapons in 1940, completely abandoning any of the nuclear research uh, bonuses and all that. So, basically when you do this, you can actually get things in one to two days sometimes. It is absolutely insane, this exploit. So, the reason I'm doing this is because the people at Paradox need to know how to fix this because I'm noticing it more and more in multiplayer games and I thought, well, people are starting to learn about it, people are going to find about it anyway, so why not make it fair for all the people who play in multiplayer to understand how this is, how to tell if somebody's doing it, and how to have a fair shot and be able to actually use it, but also counter it. So, here's what's going on. Really quick. In the video itself, the voice is going to be not in sync with what's happening on screen due to the fact that when I was recording this, like I said, my microphone was not on and instead of finding another multiplayer game, I couldn't really do it. So something very important about this too, it's best to use this in multiplayer because this glitch works on the game lag itself and if you're in single player you can do it too, but it's not possible to really do it at the beginning. You have to do it really late in the war which by then you have most of your stuff researched anyway, so it's not really worth it to do it in single player, unless you have a bad gaming PC. Don't take this the wrong way. If you have a bad enough gaming PC that lags enough in the very beginning of the game, you might be able to get away with doing it really quickly. So, it is a very simple glitch. All you have to do is have 150 political power, or really it technically takes 200 political power to do both of these. But what you're gonna do is open up your decisions tab and go down to the uh, refuge scientist ones. You're gonna either do the German or the Italian. I recommend doing whichever one is lowest so it doesn't mess it up and do it twice. Now, what you're gonna do, especially if you're a multiplayer, you're gonna click it repeatedly over and over and over as fast as you can. Sometimes what I've gone and done is just a perfect example right here. I have picked my mouse up and you're gonna hear it in the background and just start moving my finger really quick back and forth, kind of like it's twitching and just go like that just as quick as you possibly can now in the multiplayer game as you can see i was able to do it twice and it actually doubles this up now what you're going to do since it's got the german one or the italian one still available you're going to do it again and you can get anywhere between usually you know the base 10 research bonus up to in one multiplayer game because it was lagging so bad and we actually fixed the lag I was able to get an 80% research bonus. I did each of these, I think it was like five times each. It was absolutely, or no, not five, but like three or four, I think. I mean, it was absolutely insane, the research bonus that I got from this. So what you're gonna immediately say I know right off the top of your head is, oh my God, this is gonna kill my stability. Nope. You can do improved workers and it works just like the same on there. So what you're gonna do it is in this pattern. You're gonna do the first one with the normal base improve or the scientist, and after you finish those and you have another hundred and some political power, you're just gonna go and do the exact same thing with improved worker abilities, or whatever. And you can actually do it on there as well, so you'll be getting like two or three of these different improved worker conditions at a time. So you'll be getting instead of 0.50% stability a week. You're going to get 1.50. It is an absolutely insane exploit. It is totally unfair in multiplayer. And I do not recommend using this unless you're with a group of friends that you're going to tell in advance you're going to use it. Because you might get actually banned out of communities and so on for using this. Now here is how you can tell if someone's doing it or not. If you right click a nation and hover over their information such as uh, war support and uh, stability. It will actually say what they've done to get it there. And as you can see, this was a totally random multiplayer game, so people knew about this in advance, so I don't know how many people are really going to be interested in this and knowing this, but as you can see, it shows that this person was doing the same thing I was, and the UK was doing it, and Canada was doing it. So, it's very simple. 